wasn't ready, bro. I wasn't was ready. Quick. I wasn't ready, bro. What the f dude? I didn't even look. I just ran for my life, bro. So yeah, I built a flamethrowing Roomba. Check this out. Honestly, all rumors should come like that. Don't ask me how I came up with this thing. Literally, I was just laying in bed thinking of things to build and it just came to me. A flamethrowing Roomba. Now, let me show you how I built it. So this whole thing starts out with the Roomba 770. This is a Roomba that I bought a really long time ago so I could clean the house, right? I set it up and I let it do its thing and I completely forgot about it. So much so that the battery actually died and I had no idea where it was. And as you saw from the intro, I'm using an Xbox One controller to control the whole thing, which is really cool, right? I wanted something tactile, something that I could actually use. Originally, I was thinking of using like a, a web interface on my phone, so controlling using my phone, but I thought it would be so much cooler to have something tactile that I can actually press and do stuff and this is the closest thing I had around so I thought let's use this. Now with that said we obviously need a way to actually get commands to the Roomba so we could actually speak to it and move it around and things like that and my first initial thought was okay so I'm gonna need to go ahead and take this thing apart and then look at the motherboard and figure out which points on the motherboard actually can respond to the wheels moving. That way I could go ahead and control the wheels. So I thought this is gonna take a really long time to checking every single little lead, but then I came across this. This is the Create. Now the Create is meant to be used as a robotics platform that you could actually use to build robots or build whatever you want on top of it. And because of that, I came across this document. This is what Roomba calls the open interface, which basically outlines every single command that you could actually send to the Roomba in order to manipulate different things like the sensors and the wheels. And then I thought, okay, well, this is really cool because if this open interface actually applies to my Roomba 770 as well, not just the create, then I could go ahead and use this command to actually control the Roomba however I want. But there's one problem with that. You see, in order to do that, you need to, again, be able to communicate with the Roomba somehow. And as it turns out, the Roomba has a serial port. Like, I had no idea. I've owned this thing for two or three years, and I have never seen the serial port. So after seeing that, I thought, okay, well, I could just go ahead and connect something like a Raspberry Pi to it, and then control the Roomba using the serial interface without having to go ahead and take this whole thing apart and figure out all the leads and stuff. So that was super helpful. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is the part that took, like, a month. It took me a whole month to get this thing to work. And the reason behind that was because the Roomba actually communicates using 5 volt logic and the Raspberry Pi only accepts 3.3 volt. And so in order to get it to work, I had to use a bidirectional logic converter, which is this little board basically that communicates the logic how it's supposed to communicate. It just does its thing. But for whatever reason, I couldn't get it to work. I double checked the logic. I made sure the wires were connected correctly. I made sure that the hardware was working. So I actually switched different logic ports out. Um, at this point, I thought, okay, well, either the Roomba's broken or my Raspberry Pi is just not working properly. So then I took one last stab at it. And as it turns out, iRobot actually has a serial communication line to USB that you could use to control the Roomba basically from the Create project. And as you saw, it works. But one thing I want to do is be able to go ahead and make my own serial communication line because while I was building this project, I had another really cool idea that we could do with this. And it's it's like, it's super fun and I'm super excited about it. If you want to see more about that, stick to the end of the video and I'll show you what it is. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome. Like I just, I really know it's going to be sick. Now, as for the rest of it, I basically 3D printed some parts for the bottom base to stick the whole thing to it. And I built the whole assembly around a butane bottle. Now, these are the cheapest butane bottles I could find on eBay, so that's why I bought them. Nothing special about them. It's just the cheapest ones I could find. So I 3D printed some parts to go around the entire bottle and making that like the assembly for the flamethrower itself. And then I added some servos to perform different actions on the actual flamethrower. The first one is a servo, which actually controls the spraying of the can. And then we have a lighter assembly. Now I'm using an arc lighter because I thought they were really cool and I wanted to mess with them. So I bought this arc lighter and my initial plan was gonna be to use this lighter and then something like a relay board to go ahead and control the lighter via software. However, I noticed that this lighter actually has a really cool cap on it. And by keeping this cap, meaning by keeping this lighter intact, I'm able to use that kind of like a safety feature because of course we're dealing with fire here and I wouldn't want this thing to go off accidentally or something where it, when it shouldn't, you know? So this cap is really cool because when we're not using it, all we have to do is close it for safety reasons. But when we're ready to have fun, all we have to do is press a single button. It's so sick. And so obviously because I kept it intact, 
intact, I needed a way to actually control the lighter by pressing the button. So for that, I just used another servo. And then finally, the last servo on this assembly was because I didn't want to go ahead and burn the servo or the lighter once the actual flame was going out, right? So this last servo is responsible for moving the entire ladder assembly in and out of the way whenever we want to use it. Now we have the brains of the whole thing. Originally, I was using my Raspberry Pi 4, which is cool, it works and all. But then recently, I actually got this Raspberry Pi 0W for free, and I thought, okay, let's just see what it can do. So I used that as a brains for the whole operation. And the cool thing is that because it's so small, it takes a really small footprint of the whole thing, and it fits within the assembly itself. It's like so compact and it's super cool. Now, because I wanted to go ahead and keep the Roomba intact as much as possible because I have other projects I wanted to do with it, I did not want to go ahead and solder anything on the relative to the Roomba to get power, for example. So for power in the Raspberry Pi Zero, I'm just using the same solar charger that I used in my last project, which if you haven't seen the video, make sure you go ahead and watch it because I turned a Nerf gun into a Call of Duty Warzone controller. It was super fun. Now, with that said, let's go do what everybody here came to watch. Let's go burn some stuff. So X is used to move the assembly up and down to start like the ignition, like that. Mm -hmm. And then this one is the one that you should spray. That's why you spray with it. This trigger is used to go forward and this trigger is used to go backward. <laughs> and then the more you press it, the faster it goes. So if you go really slow, oh, since, since, since yeah, oh, it goes slower. Look how cute it is, dude. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me have the flame. Go for it. Oh, it's blowing back. Okay, I think we gotta move the turn around. We gotta go it's here. the wind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. I like how we're not like replacing it, we're just moving yeah, it. Yeah, right? so it's moving. Funny. Okay, there we go. I forgot we didn't factor in wind, bro. Yeah, I didn't think about that either. Oh, there you go. You know, I almost wish the flame was a little, was a little bigger right now. I don't know how long it's gonna take to actually cook this. So I was looking at it in real time. Okay, so. You think it's burning already? It's getting crisp. Okay, now it's burning. Yeah, not the most amazing thing. Which is why we have fuel. So we'll get some fuel on there. Hey, you think it's burning, bro? The Roomba? No, the, uh, the butane. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Did it melt? Did it melt the thing? I did melt it. I think it's just so be good. And think about the wind. We need to make something that more flammable so you don't have to leave, leave more um, flaming time, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have something going. You getting light? Just, yeah. I can put it in the count for like, look at that. It's the wind and it torched it. So we have a soda can and we would like put some methane on top of it or methanol gas and we'll see if it does anything. Oh, it's all over the place. Just keep holding it. Keep holding the... Wait, wait, wait. The butane button. Like yeah, I think I gotta go to the other side now. When did the wind... Seriously? Yeah. You know what I think it might be? Because it's leaking butane, I think the Raspberry Pi might be getting too hot. And it's turning it off. Like, for whatever reason, whatever's happening, the Roomba stops. Like, so it's detecting something and something's stopping. Is it on now? Is it going? It's not. It's not on. I just need uh, Okay, yeah. Yeah, so whatever reason, this... I Oh, there he goes. Okay, go, go, go. Let's, let's go all the way around the point. Okay, no, okay no. yeah. Let's go the, from the, uh... It stopped? Yeah. God damn it, dude. Wait, does the servo still work if you press X? No, so it's, it has to be the pie somehow. Yeah, it's the pie. It's the pie. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, we're restarting it. All right, bro, we're just going, we're going to go with the lighters or the matches. So check this out. So I got this. A bunch of matches. There's like 4,500 matches in here. Something like that. Is it right? Yeah, there is. It took me like four hours to make. And then like you're supposed to light this up and then I'm hoping that something cool happens. So we'll just go with this because I'm I'm bummed out. That's taking forever. <laughs> okay, let's put that a little further away from us then. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll go pretty far for this one. Yeah, just hold it. Just hold it on there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely lit, but nothing's really happening. Sure? Yeah. Oh, actually, no. Hit it again. It's like barely hitting it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Light it first.
Ya gak gak Okay, try it one more time Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going Come on, light Dude, don't want the flame anymore. And we're gonna let it up ourselves, dude. God damn it, dude. What the f dude? This is like the build that I thought was gonna be the coolest and like it's, How come it's, not it's like quite that? disappointing. It's too wet? Oh, Lighter. It's cause it, it's it's like on there with pressure. So like the more you move it and stuff, the looser it gets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah go for it. I think the butane bottle might be out. Yeah, it is out. Does it feel light? Hot? Light. Like, does the butane feel like it's like the more? No, it's a lot of it. It's full, bro. It's full? It's a, man, it's a lot of it in there. Yeah, I think this thing's so burnt by now. Like, that's why it's not coming out as much. Yeah, I don't feel anything coming out. I think it's just like, it's just, no, it's just, look at it. It's torched. So, and one thing I was thinking it was like getting the replacement parts and I completely forgot to print another one of these. So, I think that's it. Hey, Fred, do you want to light it up still? Yeah, I'm going to light it up. <laughs> All right, we're doing it manually. Three, two. Oh, it's light up? Okay. I'm pretty sure once it lights, we'll see like the reaction in the bottom, if at all. Probably might need to make a bigger hole for the, the lid, dude. Maybe. <laughs> How do you feel about this right now? It's like anticlimactic, dude. I'm just, we're just gonna waiting for it. And it's one of those things too where I don't want to get close to it because I feel like we get close to it. It's kind of dangerous. Uh, why do you say that and <laughs> go straight to it? Take out the top. Like, take out the, put the fuse in, but take out the top. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the other one, use the other one. Oh my god, you don't know what dude. Well, I mean, it's right there, bro. I don't think it's gonna be that quick of a reaction. Oh, it's already lit. It's already lit, bro. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, 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 I wasn't ready, bro. I wasn't was ready. Quick. I wasn't dude. ready, bro. What the fuck, dude? I didn't even look. I just <laughs> ran for my life, bro. Dude. Oh my god, dude. Look at that, dude. What the fuck? Dude, that would have been a sick one if the room was actually working. Dude, that scared me, bro. Holy <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. The room was actually working, that would have been a sick one. Yeah, that just wasn't what I expected. The parts being made out of plastic wasn't like it wasn't the best idea because the thing melted. But at the same time, I wasn't expecting the wind. Like the wind really ruined it because I was not expecting the wind to be there. Um, and that's what melted the parts. If I was to redo it again, obviously I would try bigger flames, maybe something that's gasoline powered instead of butane, because I feel like then we could really shoot it out, you know, like go crazy with it. Um, and then like the Roomba being in safe mode, I think the Raspberry Pi was just overheating or something. Something was going on with it because of the flames. So it like it shut down by itself. Yeah, like I said in this video, I had an idea something really cool we could do with them so like this was kind of a fail I'll, I'll call it a fail but what if we played but what if we played wrong but what if <laughs> but what if we played rocket league used to rumors i think it'd be really cool like you know rocket league is that game that you play with like little remote control cars you play with them and like you control them and you play soccer with them. So I think it'd be really cool to make like the Roomba jump and stuff to make it jump and like have boost so you could like play soccer with them. Um, I think that would be a lot more fun than this. This was fun. It was a fun experiment, but it's just it wasn't what I was expecting. But, I mean, I'm I'm putting it up regardless, you know. But it's uh, it was it was pretty lame. Let's be honest. It kind of sucked. All right, one more thing before I go. If you wanna know the specifics of how I actually made the project, the source code, the 3D models, and even the schematics for the whole build will be down in the description below in the GitHub link. So go check that out. Uh, and with that, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'll be pumping out more videos of making stuff that I think is fun. And I'll see you next time. Peace.